Assalamu alaikum and hi to everyone. We want to share with you how can MOS be a technology to reduce air pollution. Using biotechnology to fight pollution. This is the challenge for a European Union research project. Under the spotlight. Every day, 90% of inhabitants in cities breathe polluted air, causing death and disease. The major component of air pollution are nitrogen oxide, carbon monoxide, and especially pine dust or particulate matter, all of which shorten our lifespan. At the same time, our global population is moving to urban areas in unprecedented numbers. To reduce air pollution from continuing is to use most through current technologies while at the same time benefiting our environment. and good morning everyone as you have as it has been mentioned there are multiple sources to for for causing air pollution such as our own air conditioner our cars that we drive and the factories that power our homes so where does most fit into all of this how it is being used to fight air pollution in recent decades in and generally European Union countries. There has been research done to use moss and lichens as natural air filtrators to use in many urban areas to fight air pollution. Okay, how does it work? Uh, you wonder. Okay, due to the structure of moss, which is small rooted and rarely meet the soil, and so it cannot survive with the trace elements in the ground alone. And so it began to absorb trace elements in the atmosphere, such as nitrogen dioxide and chlorofluorohydrate, and so on and so forth. This makes it very useful again as as a natural air filtration system, and can be used to detect can be used to detect air pollutants extremely quickly. These moss plants will be transferred to air permeable bags, then moved to monitoring stations at a variety of different European locations. The technique is currently being tested in Santiago de Compostela, Spain. Three different samples are exposed for three weeks in order to accumulate all the pollutants in the area, in this case from passing cars or industrial plant, but primarily it'll be general road traffic. Following exposure, the moss is dried, then powdered. Then it's analyzed to measure the level of different pollutants in it. This approach, combining molecular biology and material sciences with ecology and bionics, could be, in the future, 
extended to other critical environmental contexts. We're planning to use this idea, this philosophy, in other places such as rivers, fields, industrial areas. These contaminants can affect rivers which then join the sea, so polluting the marine environment. It will be possible to develop these tools and to know all the pollutants that are affecting the whole ecosystem. The visual a second to one combining the timelessness of nature with cutting edge, technology and design. But did you know that most walls also have some incredible scientific benefit? Firstly, the most improved air quality. The World Health Organization reported that over 4 million deaths were attributed to the air pollution exposure during 2012. These deaths result from stroke, lung cancer, and certain types of heart disease. While many of these deaths occur in the areas with much more pollution than we have in Malaysia, we are certainly not free from air pollutants that negatively affect our heart. Most is particularly good at combating air pollution. The pollutant in the rain and the air clean to the, to the surface of the moat, and while the pollution are stuck there, bacteria convert them into the plant biomass. As you can see, having a moat wall nearby can do a world of good of your land. Secondly, reduction in airborne dust. Since moat is colonized by bacteria that subsist on the decomposition of organic substance, it can effectively reduce airborne dust. Airborne dust can contain a variety of pollutionary, dangerous and contaminate, such as aerosol, smoke particles, cleaners, chemical dust, moss and fumes. When people inhale airborne dust, they will put a risk for dust related to risk disease like asthma, allergic abilities and cancer. Introducing moss into a room helps you to exercise more control over airborne dust. The soluble inorganic components of the airborne dust are absorbed and metabolized effectively eliminated from the air. Thirdly, it's noise reduction. People have long used foliage to reduce noise and create a more peaceful environment. Home owners who live on busy plant tree or shrub to block traffic noise and people escape to forest when they're looking for peace and quiet. The same principle applies with most walls. Vegetation natural block high frequency sounds like weather of supporting structure diminishes low frequency noises. Some study has shown that plants can reduce ambient noises in offices by a much as 5 decibels. Four is stabilize moisture level. Moses can help to stabilize moisture levels in a room and maintain levels of relative humidity at between 40 and 60 percent. This is one of the most inter interesting and beneficially attributes of moss that it can help they can absorb moisture out of the air when humidity is high and then release it back to the air when humidity is low. How is the beneficial to humor? A study has shown that viruses like influenza are most likely to spread when humidity drops below 10 grams of cubic meters. Therefore, during low humidity times of the year, most walls can help your indoor spaces to maintain a humidity levels that don't promote the spread of disease. But most that take disease prevention one step further as well. It also serves to clean and uh, to clean the disease particles that are already floating around with the floor, with the air. Fifth is a reduced carbon dioxide level. Peoples and plants are natural partners. We breathe with oxygen and exhale. 21 meters high and containing thousands of plants, this living, breathing wall in Victoria is the largest of its type in London. 
It's one of a growing number of similar projects in the capital put up to try to counter air pollution. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Hakimi Rosli from RS Group of a and I would like to give a talk about how does MOS can prevent air pollution. Okay. Um, MOS would absorb the harmful particle matter and therefore reduce the harmful pollutant in the air and we can see this by the reduction of nitrogen dioxide in the at the place where there is a lot of moss there which means I can say when there is a lot of presence of moss the tendency of that place to get air pollution is low okay thanks last but not least with the advance of the technology there are so many factories and cars that produce more air pollution to our world and we need to prevent this air pollution from getting worse. So we hope this most biotechnology can help us to decrease the air pollution in the future. This technology is low in cost so we can save our world at low cost and this bring a lot of benefit to us. We hope with this technology the air quality in the future will be clean and non-toxic. So, from this, our generation in the future will be have a bright future and have a healthy life because the air they breathe will be clean and non-poisonous. So, we must prevent and decrease the air pollution now for the sake of our future generations. We also can save our Earth when we prevent air pollution. Stay safe and stay at home.